Device ID is enabled by the IoT security subscription. This is the portal for the IoT security subscription. You can see that it, it does an amazing job at identifying and profiling devices based on what they are and how they're communicating and, and many of their, their different attributes. And you can zero in on specific types of devices and if you wanna add additional fidelity or granularity to that categorization, you absolutely can. But how this marries back to the firewall, this discovered information is sent to your firewall. And you can see here, I'm looking at, in the CLI, some of my IoT different types of commands. And if you wanna see the mappings, and this has got a little bit of wrap to it, but you can see just a bunch of devices have been uh, synced back to the firewall. And when I go look inside of my firewall, I've got a, a type of device here, this 117 IP, and I can see it in my logs, and you can see that it's, it's being denied by my authentication policy um, based on its source address. And, and IoT security is contributing several columns to the log here, and I don't know what Arcadian Technology Corporation is, so I may wanna go look this up. Uh, this information, you know, obviously the device has a network card manufactured by Arcadian, but the type of device it is, is not apparent from what I see here. So I could look based on its IP 117, or I could grab the MAC address or any of the other criteria that you see in the logs. Let's just use the MAC address as an example, because people aren't used to seeing this level of information within Palo Alto Networks devices. Now I did a search before, and you can see here that F760 does show up. And if I click on this, it jumps me straight to that device. And you can see all of the uh, automatically discovered information about that device right up here. It's, it's Arcadian, it's a network device. Uh, we're still in the process of profiling this device. So we're only 60% through the learning uh, behavior. And this fidelity may get more granular or better over time, but I'm really curious to know what this type of device is right now. And you can see the different types of devices it's talking to and the different app IDs it's got. But look here into this network usage. I think this is really neat. And one thing that jumped out to me immediately was this avpro.global.yamaha.com. And it turns out this Yamaha device, that's my home theater system. So I can come up here if I want, and instead of waiting for the baselining to finish, I can go ahead and change the uh, vendor to Yamaha. And then I can go down and add a description stuff like that. And this information will then synchronize back to my firewall. Now, one other cool thing while I'm looking at my devices, if I decide, you know what, there's a type of device here that I, I'm really nervous about, and I wanna go ahead and create a policy based on what this type of device is doing or type of device that it is or where it's communicating, um, I can come over here to policy sets and you can see I've got a few that I've already created and I can create more very easily under the devices page. Uh, you'll see once this loads, the option to create a policy kind of in line here once I jump into specific device categories. And this information synchronizes back to the firewall over here on your device tab under policy recommendations. Now this is a Pan OS 10 feature and any policies you've created and you can see they're broken out by different app IDs and then you can see, is it active or not? And then once you're ready, you can select a given uh, policy and then import it and then pick uh, a name for the, the new security rule and then where you want it to appear within the policy set. Now, an example of one I've done here, I'm gonna jump back to my security policy and I'm just filtering my, my rule for cameras. And you can see that I've got this rule here, no camera devices out because they're IoT and I'm categorizing these where I'm identifying them simply by the source device of camera, right? And this is all coming from uh, device ID and IoT security. And you can see here a legacy rule I had put in place years ago for no IP cams out. And it's, I'm identifying them by their source address, but the hit count is still zero because once I put this rule in, it's been capturing all my camera devices and we can prove this by hovering over the rule name going to my log viewer, and you'll see all the different types of cameras, right, that I've created address objects for that I don't even have to worry about maintaining because the category of the device is camera, and I'm denying it very easily within my firewall. 
So this is just a quick highlight over how device ID and the IoT security subscription work. And for more information, reach out to your SE and account team.